Laura Warren, MasterCard and the United Nations are joining forces to monitor the carbon effect of your credit card purchases. And then you'll hit your carbon max and it'll stop working. Hey, of course it's voluntary for now. The new credit card is called Doconomy. And on the back of the card, it's gonna say, I am taking responsibility for every transaction I make to help protect the planet. This okay, Shalom. I want to start off by this giving all praises. And it's a I want to start off by giving all praises. Let me say Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Call Halala Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Racha Kodash, Double Honest to my apostles and elder bishops, Eric Great Millstone, who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect, scattered abroad. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, just here to do a real, real quick lesson. I'll take this quick ride. Um, you know, I got two videos I like to share. This video here, you know, basically, if you brothers, you brothers know what you know, all right, goes into prophecy, which is the MOTB. And uh, this is just some more information on how they rolling out, you know, their agenda and he mentioned let's play it back matter of fact well don't say you weren't warned mastercard and the united nations are joining forces to monitor the carbon effect of your credit card purchases right. and then you'll the carbon footprint which uh they want to base that around the uh digital dollar all right the cbdc central bank digital currency in which they're trying to create you know for everyone in the world you know, so that the central bank can monitor every transaction. And that leads into the MOTB, which is the mark of the beast, written in Revelation 13, 16. He calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in his right hand or on his forehead. And that mark goes into the Greek word karagma, which karagma is a device that's incision underneath the skin. All right, that goes underneath the skin. All right, which is your micro C hip. So, you know, they have to roll out, uh, you know, the, uh, this is the beginning. You know, they have to roll it out. So here it is, this guy's reporting that with your credit card, they're, you know, tracking your carbon footprint. All right, so let's, let's play it back again. Well, don't say you weren't warned. MasterCard and the United Nations are joining forces to monitor the carbon effect of your credit card purchases. And then you'll hit your carbon max and it'll stop working. Hey, of course it's voluntary for now. Right, and I saw reports on this before. All right, uh, Edomite woman was talking about this and he said it's voluntary for now. So imagine, you know, you, you, know, you have your own money and you know, you want to spend your money, but they put a limitation on how much you can spend. You know, even though it's your money, you know? So, you know, feeling entitled <laughs> ain't, ain't going to be a thing anymore, you know? Which With your own money, you might have earned, okay? Now, this is credit, of course, through a credit card, but how much more in your daily, your daily abouts with your debit card, you know, or with money that you earn from working a job? All right, so let's continue. The new credit card is called Doconomy. And on the back of the card, it's gonna say, I am taking responsibility for every transaction I make to help protect the planet. This is a social credit score, and it's a proof of concept. The Doconomy right. CO2- Social credit score, which is we talked about from time to time, a social, social credit system, you know? A social credit system. And you can look that up in Google. You know, they wanna run you, um, they wanna run you control you excuse me they want to control you through a social credit system meaning you know you your behavior you know uh what you put out in society are you um for the government are you against the government it's gonna matter you know when it comes to your everyday living and they want to judge you behind they want to judge you according to your behavior you know so tie that into your money you know, you might have uh, some money, you did a gig, got you paid, but because your social credit is low, you might not be able to spend that money. 
You know, there's plenty of guys who talk about this uh, agenda that they're pushing, this, this system, which really is going into the B system. All right. So let's continue. Credit card website claims it is the largest initiative ever taken by a bank in educating its users on the impact of consumption. They say themselves they want to set a global standard for carbon calculations. That's the key. Once they have their numbers in place, then they can give every single purchase you make a score and punish you directly. This is what China does. And of course, this will only be enforced on you and me and any businesses that don't go along with their scheme. And banks are going to enforce it. Right. So let's play this video here. This is Holland Park in London. All right. So I mentioned the, the, the scripture, Revelation 13. All right. The mark of the beast. And uh, let's play this video here, which is uh, this guy. I think his name Jeffrey something. And um, he's in London. And Pete, what he's saying? One of the most beautiful streets in London because of all the trees that line it. Uh, and these are trees that the mayor of London wants to pull down um, to make way for a cycle lane. Well, he can fuck off. I mean, the man's obviously deranged. You can't pull trees down so that people can cycle. I mean, I know that cycle, cycle lanes now are seen as the single most important thing in the world by all those lunatics with five hardened bananas on their head and a little GoPro, but they don't fuck off, they're not. I was just coming just now into London on the A40, where they've taken one of the lanes away to make a cycle lane, massive traffic jam resulting from it, and stuck in it is an ambulance. Someone is dying of a heart attack somewhere up in Acton, ambulance can't get there because they're building a cycle lane. We live in absurd times, absurd. In Hyde Park, they took half the road away to make a cycle lane, even though there was already a cycle lane running parallel to it 30 feet away. So now there's a choice of cycle lane when you're in Hyde Park. Why? If when you get to work and you cycle there and you need to make up for the calories that you've lost by cycling and you have an avocado that's been flown from, I don't know, the other side of the world, you'd be better off environmentally going to work in a Humvee and this information is not coming from my head. It's coming from the Guardian newspaper. That's where I found it. The Guardian will tell you that cycling means you have to eat to get the calories you need to ride a bicycle. Is anyone paying any attention to any of this? No, they're not. We must have cycle lanes. It's good for the environment. No, it isn't. It isn't. Oh, and well, here's another thing. The cycle lane that we're going to build along here, OK? Four and a bit miles, 42 million pounds. That's what they were quoted. Hey, fuck off, I just see you can't charge 40. That's 10 million pounds a mile for just painting a little bicycle on the road. It's, you can't charge 10 million pounds a mile for that. I'd have told them to fuck off. And that's the good thing. The council has told them to fuck off. The mayor of London want to pull trees now, you know, which is really, I think the mayor of London, I don't know if he's an Edomite, but this government is still ran by the Edom. This world, excuse me, this world is ran by Edom. And that's what Edom do. They cut trees down. Just, you know, here in London, they want to cut trees down for cycling. You know, now I want to bring this quick precept out and I'll close. All right. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 14 and 3. It shall come to pass in the day that Yahweh shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, how have the oppressor seized, the golden city seized? And Yahweh have broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. He, had, he who smote the people in wrath with a continued stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing, yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee and the cedars of Lebanon saying since thou art laid down no fella has come up against us so even the trees are going to rejoice when this man go down man alright because he have oppressed the whole earth so you know I just wanted to bring this quick uh, lesson out quick 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 lesson alright why I said I had to you know take this quick ride I want to give all praises honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Racha 
Kodash, double honors to my apostles and elder bishops here in Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.